Good evening and welcome. The BJP coming out openly saying that the Uddhav Thakre government has run out of numbers. It seems that time is running out as well. All the developments in the Supreme Court on the political battlefield in Guwahati and in Mumbai coming up live on the news track tonight. Maha Court Clash. Round one to Shinde Sena. War stretches, anger rises. Will Supreme Court clear the way? Kaun banega Sena Pati? Here's a quick look at the headlines I'm tracking tonight. BJP drops big hint and Uddhav Sena loses the number, says it will back Shinde Sena. Rebels likely to approach the governor and seek a trust vote. Big setback to the Uddhav government. Supreme Court puts the disqualification of 16 MLAs on hold till the 11th of July. Maharashtra government asked to ensure security of rebels. Amid the Maha Sena Tussle Enforcement Directorate piles on the heat on Udhav's chief troubleshooter, Sena MP Sanjay Raut, summoned by the enforcement watchdog over an alleged land scam. After NDA's Draupadi Murmu, opposition's Yashwan Sinha files nomination for the president's post, flanked by top opposition faces, but numbers are clearly stacked against Sinha. Joe Biden walks up to Prime Minister Modi to shake hands with him at the G7 summit in Germany. Prime Minister also meets Emmanuel Macron and Justin Trudeau. It seems the Shinde Sena is moving in for the kill. The BJP has dropped a big hint, says it will consider backing Eknath Shinde if he comes to them with a concrete proposal. Sources tell India today that the Shinde Sena is set to approach the governor and seek a floor test. Supreme Court ke nirnay ke baad rajya ke rajnitik paristhiti ka akagan kiya gaya Eknath Shinde ji unki Shiva Sena ye Mug Shiv Sena hai ये जो उन्होंने कहा है घोषणा की है उस विषय में भी मंथन हुआ है कि अभी भी हमने वेट एंड वॉच करते हुए आने वाले दिनों में जैसी परिस्थिति निर्माण होगी फिर से कोर टीम बैठेगी और उचित निर्णय भारतीय जनता पार्टी पूरी साथ में आगे जाएगी द महायुद्ध इज नाउ इन द सुप्रीम कोर्ट but round one of this legal battle seems to have gone in favour of the Shinde Sena. The top court extended the deadline for disqualification of 16 rebel MLAs. Notices have also been issued to the Deputy Speaker and the Uddhav Thakre government. Nalini Sharma and Anisha Mathur from Law Today decode what happened in court. The tussle between Uddhav Sena and Shinde Sena, which has put the Maharashtra government on the edge, has moved from the hotel rooms to the courtroom. The Supreme Court on Monday put the Maharashtra Deputy Speaker's disqualification notice to 16 rebel Sena MLAs on hold. Time to file our reply to the notice of the Deputy Speaker for our disqualification is extended till the 12th of July. Secondly, has directed and recorded the undertaking of the state government that all protection to life and liberty of these 39 MLAs as also their family members shall be extended by the state government. The top court, hearing separate petitions filed by Eknath Shinde and 15 other rebels, issued notices to Uddhav Thakare government and deputy speaker. The Supreme Court has given the rebels time till 5.30 p.m. on July 11th to reply to Deputy Speaker's disqualification notice. 
the Supreme Court has asked the Deputy Speaker to explain the notice sent to the 16 rebel MLAs. The Apex Court has given five days for the Uttar faction to reply. The court said that the parties are free to approach the court if a floor test is demanded. It also ordered the state government to arrange security for the rebel MLAs and their families. मौत आज आप टाल सकते हो कभी ना कभी तो ये क्रिया प्रक्रिया होने वाली है ना जो बारह एम एल एज है इसके ऊपर ये तलवार लटकी है डिसक्वालिफिकेशन की वो हटेगी नहीं मैं आपको दावे के साथ कहता हूँ इट वॉज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ वॉर दे वर ट्राइंग टू डिसक्वालिफाई एवरी वे दे ट्राई डिट बट फाइनली वी हैड अ जस्टिस एंड आई थिंक दे शुड टेक अ लेसन फ्रॉम दिस दे शुड स्टेप डाउन इट वुड बिकम मोर ग्रेसफुल and that is uh, my request to them for now the ship sena rebels are immune from disqualification but all eyes are set on their next strategy with the next hearing scheduled for july 11th uddhav sena and shinde sena are locked in a battle of nerves bureau report india today <laughs> Joining us for the latest perspective live at this moment, our Mumbai Bureau Chief Sahil Joshi. With us live from Guwahati is Palami Saha. Uh, I want to go across to Sahil Joshi first for his perspective on the comments made by the BJP in uh, Mumbai for the first time saying that they're willing to support the Shinde Sena if there is a concrete proposal. What's the BJP planning to do next, Sahil? Well, right now, what uh, it looks like is that they have three options. Uh, the first option, of course, is that uh, the Shinde group, who now claims, even the BJP has accepted that claim. So, obviously, I think that even the governor uh, will be more than happy to accept that claim, is that the Shinde group is the original Shiv Sena legislative party. Uh, they can approach the governor and say that uh, uh, we don't support this MVA government and we are withdrawing the support, which they have already mentioned uh, in their plea when they, will, they made it in the Supreme Court. The second option is that the BJP goes to the governor saying that uh, uh, looking at the situation around, we think that the government has no majority in the house at this point of time. Please ask them to prove the majority in the house. And lastly, the governor Suomoto can take the action and say that uh, we ha I have received the report and looking at the situation around, I think that the Uddhav Thakre should be uh, proving his majority in the house. But what I'm hearing from my sources at this point of time is that uh, the Ekna Shinde group is not going to approach the governor yet. They have decided not to approach the governor yet. The plan strategy planning meeting happened in the evening and then they were guided that not to approach the governor, not to do any kind of action which might appear anti-party because the party chief is still Uddhav Thakre. The party is still in the hands of Uddhav Thakre. So, you know, the, the strategy is being reconsidered. That remains only two options. Either the BJP goes to the governor and ask uh, the governor, request the governor to ask Uddhav Thakre to prove his majority on the house. And the second, third, lastly, that the governor, Suomoto, decides uh, and ask Uddhav Thakre uh, to resign. But more than that, what I'm hearing also is that uh, some of the NCP leaders and some people from Shiv Sena also think that, you know, now that you know that there are, you don't have the numbers. The way Ajit Pawar, the moment he realized that he doesn't have the numbers, uh, he was running out of his options. Finally, he went to Devendra Fadnavis and resigned in, the, in that three days government. Similarly, Uddhav Thakre should now accept the fate. He tried his best but nothing could happen now. Eventually, he will have to give it up and decide to leave because that's what he was planning to do just a couple of days back when he made a social media address. It was Sharat Pawar who gave him the fate that, you know, explore all your options, try till end and if nothing happens, then we, we you know, we can talk The question again. is, will he throw right in the now, towel or seems... will he want to go down fighting in the battlefield, in the floor of the house? I think that's the critical question. Nalini Sharma, what are the legal options from here? The Supreme Court today stayed the disqualification of the rebel Sena MLAs. So what can the Shinde camp now do? What can the governor do? What does past legal precedent say? What's okay and what's not? Well, Rahul, this was only the day one of what seems to be a fairly long legal battle ahead, not only for the Uddhav camp, but for everybody involved in this entire matter. But at the end of the day today, we can safely say that it was advantage Eknath Shinde. And the reason I say that is, one, because, yes, the disqualification proceedings cannot go any further 
then the states they are already at at least till the 12th of July. What that means is that these 16 MLAs cannot be disqualified and will continue to remain as the members of the Legislative Assembly at least till the 12th of July. Second is that there is no flow test, no stay on the flow test that has been ordered by the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court specifically said that they don't want to issue a stay on the flow test because they don't want to complicate the matter further than it already is. So in case a flow test is ordered tomorrow, the Uddhav camp will be forced to rush to the Supreme Court once again, uh, trying to get some sort of favorable orders for them so that it doesn't happen until they can get the numbers on their side. Because the Supreme Court has given the liberty to all the parties to come back to them in case they feel aggrieved by anything. And the third and the most important thing, Rahul, why I say it's advantage Eknath Shinde at the end of the day today is because the petition has not been thrown out by the Supreme Court. It's not been sent back to the Bombay High Court and it's not even been denied an urgent hearing. So the kind of arguments that we've seen today happen before the Supreme Court, of course, makes it in favor of Eknath Shinde. But from here on, we can expect for the proceedings to continue in every respect except for on the disqualif disqualification aspect. Meanwhile, so Pallavi, what's happening in Guwahati? Yeah. Uh, this idea that the BJP could ask for a flaw test, is that what the Shinde camp who you're in touch with is pushing for? What's been the general mood and morale amongst the rebels in MLAs? Well, uh, Rahul, the morale is definitely very high and I'll take you to an image of that uh, pictorially represented right here in this hoarding. Ajay, my camera person will show it to you. This is one and a half kilometers from Hotel Radisson Blue where Eknath Shinde and his uh, rebel camp is currently staying. And as you can see, this massive hoarding has uh, just gone up over there. Eknath Shinde flanked on the one side by Bala Saib Thakre, on the other side by Anand Dige, who he considers to be his political guru. It says, hashtag Hindutva for ever garb se kaho hum hindu hai we are proud to say we are hindus and shinde sahib aap hum aapke saath hai which two of his supporters are saying those who have in fact uh, hoisted this hoarding on the street right outside hotel radisson blue clearly hashtag hindutva forever ba bala sahib's uh, image over there eknath shinde now staking claim to the legacy of bala sahib thakre to the legacy of hindutva that bala sahib thakre in fact founded the shiv sena on so clearly eknath shinde is feeling very confident but he's obviously you know uh, currently weighing his uh, options whether it would be considered anti party if he were to go straight to the governor and say that you know uh, we're pulling support from the mva government and you can call for a floor test because uh, clearly after our numbers are out the mva government is not a majority uh, government or whether it will be the bjp but from uh, what I've uh, understood from the BJP in the past few days, uh, Rahul, the BJP doesn't want to go to the governor directly. The BJP doesn't want to go to the governor. It wants the Shinde camp to approach uh, the governor. Rahul. Uh, thanks very much for joining us. This is a very complicated legal matter and therefore I've put together some really sharp uh, legal perspectives on where things could go from here, what the past legal precedent is and whether a floor test can happen and if it does who really does the sena belong to we've got satish manishinde joining us one of maharashtra's best known lawyers we've got senior advocate in the supreme court sanjay hegde joining us uh, pinky anand joins us senior advocate from a traditional solicitor general in this government for a legal perspective uh, we've got these three voices for a political perspective clyde crasto of the ncp krishna hegde is a supporter of the Shiv Sena. I want to go across to uh, Pinky Anand first on what happens next. You've got to stay only on the disqualification. The Supreme Court didn't rule on whether a floor test can be asked for. Now the deputy speaker seems to be aligned with the Sena. The governor, uh, from what we can gather, would naturally do what the central government would suggest. And therefore, what do you believe, given the fact that you've now got the BJP saying that they're willing to push ahead if the Eknath Shinde camp comes to them with a concrete proposal, where do you think the legal position stands? See, ultimately, Rahul, the, as far as the legal position is concerned, when the Supreme Court was moved by Shinde group seeking the challenge to disqualification noticed by the Speaker, ultimately, Supreme Court has, for the time being, stayed uh, proceedings to the extent that time has been given and therefore the proceedings before the speaker do become extended on to 11 July when the matter will come up next. So in the meantime, obviously no orders can be passed, but the Supreme Court declined to pass any orders relating to floor tests. 
and frankly protest is something which can always be held and possibly is the only real method to test the majority on the floor because that is the people's will and that is what the parliamentary democracy really means that the rule of law the rule of procedure is that when there is such a dispute the best way to sort it out would so who will determine the floor, the the floor test <laughs> will it be will it be a call of the deputy speaker will it be a call of the governor <laughs> see ultimately it is the, it is the speaker which is who is supposed to decide uh, when the floor test is to be held but here the situation also has got complicated because the deputy speaker himself has ruled in favor of uh, rejection of the disqualification motion against himself also so there are quite a few complications there but today ultimately there can almost be no saying on the factum that you can have and you will have a floor test if demanded for but obviously there has to be a demand for the floor test feeling which it cannot be done so everything revolves around the fact that when and who moves for the floor test before uh, the concerned authorities satish manishinde your thoughts on what might happen next the idea that there should be a floor test if the bjp pushes for one will that be a call taken by the deputy speaker will it be a call taken by the governor rahul before going into the legal aspects if you permit me i want to go into a little history of maharashtra yes uh, you know shiv sena was built uh, by the loan efforts of bala saheb thakre the late bala saheb thakre and uh, in 95 96 the shiv sena and the bjp formed the first alliance in maharashtra of a hindutva party and they won the elections and they ruled maharashtra for about four to four, five years till 99 when they were defeated but be that as it may sometime in 95 bala saheb lost his wife uh, late shri shrimati minatai thakre and subsequently he lost his son in an accident immediately and then uh, there was a lot of bickering in the shiv sena party itself so bala saheb expressed to me on you know, one of those days that from the time he has uh, on the elections and you know formed the united front government uh, the india government uh, it, there has been a lot of uh, ill will not only in his family but also in the party because people are hankering after power and he said that i was much happier during the time when shiv sena had no power we were only as social reformers and working for the welfare of the society and he had always feared as to what is going to happen today and what he actually said has come true because uh, the party which was built by him and his family all through even his late father had also put in efforts in the sankt maharashtra movement and subsequently now to see that the shiv sena crumbling to this uh, level is unheard of first of all uh, if bala saheb was alive i don't think the shiv sena and the bjp would have broken an alliance and formed this uh, mva government apart from all this uh, it is very unfortunate that 40 mlas of the shiv sena who primarily owe their electoral success to the shiv sena and to the founder of the party should betray the party and uh, uh, run away to surat and then subsequently to assam the legal question and uh, the factors that may arise in the court may side with shinde or the sena but ultimately they let to come and face the people in maharashtra the the floor test is very important even if shinde camp wins the floor test are they going to administer the state of maharashtra the way in which uh, the elections were primarily won by the bjp and the shiv sena no apart from all this uh, what uh, buddhav thakre and aditya thakre are telling uh, the people who are run away from maharashtra is please don't come back to the party you please go away we will be rebuild our party i can assure you one thing that the entire party the cadre of the party is still with the original shiv sena headed by uddhav ji thakre i don't support any of the political parties in maharashtra personally because i'm not a card holder but i can tell you the feel of the people in maharashtra is that these 40 people have betrayed the sentiments of the electorate have betrayed the sentiments of the cadre and betrayed the manner in which each one of them was picked up by the shiv sena and brought up in politics by the shiv sena cadre pinky so anand uh, satish pandey seems courts, to suggest that sir, the real that, sena that, will be the uddhav sena not the shinde sena and that then becomes the big legal argument we already seeing different points of view between these legal luminaries on who who is the real senapati 
I see that, that question now. I'm afraid uh, more than legal, possibly might be more political, and that is obvious from the comment of the earlier speaker. Also, he's speaking politically. He's not speaking legally into anything. It's a people's belief as to what a party is or not. It, that's another question. But as far as law is concerned, uh, the law will decide, and I believe that uh, Shinde has applied uh, for another party symbol in any case. So let us see where the whole ball will roll. Ultimately, the question is the supporting people. The question is ultimately in a democracy, people have a right. to form and to decide who the party leader will be so really speaking it is up to the party to decide who the real leader is and who the real party is for that matter i think that is where the no, but the, the party is much more than the mlas there are also mps there is a sangathan there are shakhas uh, satish mane shinde who controls the party 40 mlas are with the shinde sena he says i am the shiv sena not this udhav sena i can assure you one thing that since uh, i have known the shiv sena in uh, 1980s so pinky anand is saying you are speaking today, more as a political voice than a legal uh, luminary one dictate from the matoshri would uh, line up the entire party cadre it is not shinde or somebody else who can control the party and that is why people who have earlier left the shiv sena uh, probably they thought that they'll uh, secure enough votes and all that they also have been Mean defeated in elections, and people have taught them a lesson. All that I can tell you is that hunger for power, after getting elected uh, on a Shiv Sena ticket, and having been a member of the Legislative Assembly and the Shiv Sena for two and a half years, did they realize now that the party is not being run on the principles for which they fought in 2019? No. Things have happened subsequent to the government formation, and they feel. that uh, they will not get reelected if they were to move side along with the congress and the ncp because they have been uh, fighting each other since the, since the time shiv sena was formed okay so we are hearing two different Shusena. legal points of view i want to go across to sanjay hegde and see where he comes out on this who is the real senapati and whom does the sena belong to from a legal point of view sanjay no this, where is the legal question just, just let's get it straight that there are three separate processes there is one process in so far as taking a claim to form a government is concerned it is entirely within mr shinde's remit to go to the governor and say that we 40 mlas are fed up we have withdrawn on uh, support from this government please ask the chief minister to prove his majority on the floor of the house that is one the second thing is that when there is a floor test obviously there will be a uh, whips no if you are uh, got elected as a sena uh, uh, mla you will vote for the government which is, which is headed by uddhav thakre there will be a whip the consequences of defying that whip could be a, a disqualification petition and there there may be any a uh, defense that no 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 we 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 have merged with with x party or y party the as to who the sena symbol belongs to is a third proceeding before the election commission we under the symbols order and as uh, satish rightly said ultimately whenever there is a split in in any any party whether it was the congress of old or the telugu desam or the anna dmk or now the shiv sena the electorate finally decides who is the real sena today there are three separate procedures for separate legal consequences who has the symbol uh, uh, who who can be uh, who commands the majority on the uh, uh, the confidence of the house that is the chief minister and uh, uh, like is there any defense if there is a disqualification brought okay would you so, accept uh, krishna hegde that given that 40 mlas are now with eknath shinde this uddhav thakre government is clearly in minority as and when there is a floor test mr uddhav thakre will lose that is certain now who controls listen, the sena uh, listen uh, uh, rahul yeah. Yeah. that's not how, that's not how parliamentary democracy works okay go on explain If some people may walk away rahul you still have to have a floor test to determine whether the chief minister continues to have the confidence of the house you remember that the uh, uh, cpm the the communists walked away from the manmohan singh government there was a no confidence motion in the lok sabha 
and manmohan singh won that local no, no but because the samajwadi party came on board there is no samajwadi party in maharashtra or any other yes, such party but, but, except but the bjp sure but would you concede I, i hear you would you concede krishna hegde that as things stand at the moment the uddhav thackeray government is now in minority yeah i totally disagree with this and let me first correct you that we are the only shiv sena founded by sammanya bala saheb thackeray the other fringe group is the eknath chinde group and not the eknath chinde seda let him first register himself let him come on to the floor of the house have a test secondly what i am hearing in the media is that the uh, you know that the judgment today by the honorable uh, supreme court is in favor of the shinde group let me tell you this that this is a very balanced judgment the shinde group had asked for the disqualification of the speaker but that has not been allowed today also the deputy speaker is the authority of the house and the presiding ultimate presiding authority of the house secondly they have asked for the shiv sena group leader ajay choudhary ji to be disqualified his name to be disqualified today also he is the group leader of the shiv sena so it is a advantage of the shiv sena even in this decision and the shiv sena uh, the honorable supreme court the uh, the learned judges have given time for them to file the petition and to reply they have also given us notices and to everybody else that we have 5 days to reply to the notice which we will do so where is the question of victory of the eknath shinde uh, group i would even uh, say this that the 15 days time right now which has been given is favoring the sena most of the their mlas which who are there are going to be our jittery they want to come back to us and we would request that the doors are still open those who want to come back can come back and like satish no, man no but you are saying this but mr manish shinde the no, ball is swinging no, the no, other no, side no, uddhav thackeray is saying come to us but the no, no. mlas and even the ministers who are no. earlier in the uddhav camp okay let let mr uh, let mr hegde complete then i go across satish yeah, man yeah, shinde yes please, thank you thank you thank you very much before this also there have been three rebellions in the sena and on three occasions after that also the shiv sena has come back to power and twice we have had our chief minister uh, even in the three rebellions around 33 to 35 mlas had quit the sena and only three have won so even if these people have gone away now there is no guarantee that they are going to win i am i'm going to tell you today that the shiv sena has a membership of, of around 60 lakh people and well wishers of crores of people in the state when these people go and go to the electorate again like uh, advocate manshinde ji said they are going to get a drubbing no and no you are saying that but the ball is swinging the other side on the pitch of maharashtra at this time mr manishinde no, no each minister is switching side. to the shinde camp even those who are sitting as part of this emergency group that udav and aditya have constituted the next day they are in surat and the third day they are in uh, guwahati so they are all swinging on the other side no no they may be no, going to let's hear from mr manishinde I feel there is a catch in this. Uh, the fact that the Shiv Sena has moved for disqualification of 16 or 17 people who left earlier, and they are not moved for disqualification of other people who join the other people, tells me, as a lawyer thinking uh, uh, wickedly, that uh, those people who have gone and joined subsequently may not be the staunch followers of Shinde. There might be a surprise. a uh, element of surprise that uh, these people will swing on the floor of the house and uh, it is also possible that some of these uh, people who have joined uh, the camp of shinde in gahati subsequently may have gone to win away some of the mlas who are fr- their friends and bring them back to the party so anything <laughs> is possible we're talking about trojan unless, horses this is entering the realm of mythology I, I, I would like to come unless, on to this unless, unless we see the floor test we will not be in a position to determine Who okay, is, is that just bravado, flight, crusto, or do you think uh, defeat is now inevitable? Satish Mane Shinde, being the clever lawyer that he is, planting Trojan horses in the minds of our viewers. I don't know if there are any Trojan horses in Guwahati, but he's trying to plant them here on TV. Uh, is defeat inevitable? Are you hoping that there'll be a surprise in the end? Well, always... how can you how can you call that de- uh, defeat is inevitable? Let me tell you one thing very. Can I speak now because I've waited for half an hour so yes, I thought you are go, I, I mean, I'm not on the show go on go on Am I still there Okay Slide me here you go on No the fact of the matter is how does it you know defeat is 
Yeah, I, how do you say that defeat is inevitable? The point here is what the Supreme Court has done today. Okay, uh, well, the uh, fact of the matter is, if the Supreme Court thought that what the deputy speaker said was was wrong and the notice that he gave was wrong, he would have actually rejected it. The fact that he has not rejected it, that means there is some substance to the notice that is given. So he has given time to both the sides to present their case, which is a fair judgment. So now the fact is, see, at the end of the day, let me put it this way. If, the, if, if Ignat Shinde had the numbers, he would have come out in the open and you know, asked for a flow test. The fact is, he's not doing so because somewhere he knows that you know, he's not going to win. So if you're going to say the advantages with the Shinde came, let me tell you, the ball is in the Shinde court. But the advantage is the, if the Mahavika Sagadi. Because the fact is, they do not have numbers. Today, finally, you know, they've come up with a number which is 39. And let me tell you, the Shiv Sena and the people that I've been talking to are constantly saying that at least 20 plus MLAs are in touch with them, trying to say that, you know, that we are on their side. And they are there, but they are not, they, you know, they could be trapped, they could be anything. There are a lot of things that are floating around. There are two of their MLAs actually ran from uh, Surat and one from Guwahati and came back. So it could be anything. And now that you have 14 days, they've given enough time for them to think also. No, so but the fact is, what the speaker has said, okay, if you're going to talk, if you're going to talk, let me just finish. If you're going to talk <laughs> about the Shinde camp, you know, and they're not being disqualified, the fact is that the Supreme Court has not rejected what the, uh, what the deputy speaker has said. And also the motion against the deputy speaker has not been, has not let, gone Let's through. build on that. You so make an important point. Not like Castro Shinde, makes right an important now, point. Jittery that the man who matters is the deputy speaker and the deputy speaker, Pinky Anand, is still fully in charge and he's Uddhav Thakre's man. He's the one who will determine uh, how the voting on the floor of the house takes place. He's the one who will determine on disqualification before it gets challenged in a court. And he is, at this moment, if something changes later, I don't know, but at this moment, he's firmly aligned with Uddhav Thakre. But you know, Rahul, ultimately, there have been at least two instances in the past where the Supreme Court has been seized with the matter and has defined in a broad manner how the floor test might be carried out so that there can be no, so to say, hanky-panky. So, for example, in the Jharkhand's case, at that time also the floor test issue came up. In fact, the Supreme Court directed that a floor test be held because ultimately the numbers had to be established on the majority on the floor of the House, which is the highest order of parliamentary democracy. And the manner also, so for example, CCTV cameras, um, and that is the manner in which it was ultimately carried out. The, the members who would be there, the members who would not be there. So the floor test is ultimately the be-all and end-all of parliamentary democracy. Same thing happened in UP also. Um, this was prior to the, the Jharkhand issue. So in each of these cases, if, for example, there is some something which is uh, amiss in the carrying out of the floor test, the Supreme Court is very much there to ensure that the same is carried out in accordance with our own principles of parliamentary democracy. So it's not as if it's anybody's whim and fancy simply because... Uh, the deputy speaker is the representative or uh, confidant of uh, the Shiv Sena, so to say, um, of the uh, Thakare group. Doesn't mean that uh, there can be no supervision of how the floor test is held or that the floor test would not be genuine. If there is any difficulty, the same would be sorted out judicially. But would you accept, Sanjay Hegde, that at this moment, with these 39-40 MLAs physically present in Guwahati, it looks like on the floor of the house, the Uddhav Thakare government could be in serious jeopardy? The floor of the house is not in Guwahati. That's the simple answer. They may go to Guwahati, they may go to Gangtok, they may go anywhere. At the end of the day, they have to come to the assembly and vote during a motion of confidence or a motion of no confidence, whichever is brought. And they would still be subject to the whip. They would still be subject to other uh, procedures for disqualification may not be may not be before the floor test maybe even after the floor test uh, and i quite agree with the somebody who said you know this 14 days time is actually a, a hiatus where things can be worked out politically uh, now after the legal points i just want to tell you that i what i have seen in practice um, at times uh, there may be an inducement if somebody reaches guwahati that inducement might be time, uh, might have a time factor in it. You reach before such and such a date, that inducement is yours. So many may have gone for the inducement, but yet that is no guarantee about the way that they vote. That's like the Indian voter, and that has been carried up now onto, uh, onto the legislatures and parliament. So unless there is a floor test, 
you can't say the show is not over i are you ready clyde crasto for a floor test will the mva government say let there be a floor test yes let's see, see who wins on the floor of the house okay okay rahul just give me 2 minutes and hear me out clearly okay well you asked this question we've been saying it from day 1 Let's go for the floor test. If Eknath Shinde has the numbers, why is he afraid? Let's go for the floor test. Let's prove it on the floor of the house. Like Sanjay Hegde said, the floor of the house is not in Gauhati. The floor of the house here is in the Vidhan Bhavan in Maharashtra in Mumbai. Come here, prove that you have the numbers. Let's do it that way. Now, one more thing I want to say. I want to. I want to actually make an appeal here. Okay. Now, right from day one, you know the BJP has said that we've got nothing to do with this. Okay, let's take the word. But the visuals that show there are some BJP functionaries who are helping these people go in Surat. There were some BJP functionaries helping them to go to Gowati. Now the Chief Minister of Assam, and I'm quoting one of the one of the agencies, the ANI, where we get all our feed from. ANI has said, and there's a video of the Chief Minister of Assam saying that you know I don't mind them coming there. BJP in Maharashtra is already supporting them. So if the if that is true and if there is any <coughs> substance to that. Let me tell the BJP of, through your channel that why don't you all help them to come back to Maharashtra? Ask them to come and prove their majority on the floor of the house. B BJP can help democracy like this. Tell them you come to Maharashtra, help them in the same manner they help them to reach no, Gauhati. And you know it's it's a very funny thing that I would like to lighten up the atmosphere. Here, one quickly, I'll tell you. You know, there's this video going on where uh, audio of this MLA that he says, "No, kai dongar, kai zhadi, kai hotel, all okay." You know that kind of joke. Now let let the BJP bring them here and let everything be okay. Let them let them prove it on the floor of the house. Let the government start functioning. Let the people of Maharashtra have their MLAs serving them. They are okay. not serving them. Their constituencies are waiting for the MLAs come here and serve so their constituents. That sounds like a threat. That sounds like a threat. Not so much an invitation as much as a threat. But as the political chair in Maharashtra continues, top Shiv Sena How? leader, How? a member of Parliament, Come. Sanjay Raut, has been Come summoned here. by the Enforcement Directorate in connection with an alleged land scam. Sanjay Raut, however, remains defiant, calling the ED summons against him a BJP conspiracy, daring that he would rather be beheaded than go to Guwahati. अपने बाप के नाम पर पार्टी बनाओ और अपने बाप के नाम पर वोट मांगो. हमारा जो पार्टी का बाप है उसका क्यों आप इस्तेमाल कर रहे हो आपको तो सो बाप है उधर ही हैज बीन द प्रिंसिपल ट्रबल शूटर ऑफ द बिल्लीगढ़ उद्धव गवर्नमेंट लीडिंग द फाइट फ्रॉम द फ्रंट विद अ सीरीज ऑफ फायरी काउंटर्स जिस तरह की राजनीतिक हलचल मुंबई में चल रही है महाराष्ट्र में देश में चल रही है तो मुझे पूरा अंदेशा था कि मेरे बारे में मुझे रोकने के लिए शिवसेना को रोकने के लिए कुछ लोग इकट्ठा आएंगे महाराष्ट्र के खिलाफ और मुझे और मेरे कोई साथी हुए उनको तकलीफ देंगे एंड नाउ उद्धव सेना एमपी संजय राउत फाइंड्स हिमसेल्फ इन एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट क्रॉस हेयर्स समन फॉर ग्रिलिंग ओवर हिज रोल इन पत्रा चावला लैंड स्कैम केस अमिट द थिक ऑफ महाराष्ट्र पावर टसल राउत वाज क्विक टू डेयर द सेंटर टू अरेस्ट हिम सेइंग He is ready to be beheaded, but not bow. Look, my voice, you can't stop me. You can send the notice of ED to me, or my garden will be burned. I will not leave from Gohati to Gohati. I will stay here with my party. You try as much as you can. I will die. But you have put ED against me, CBI against me. I will go to jail. You can arrest me. I will sit in the prison in the prison. I will come to the prison. आप आइए अरेस्ट करो मुझे बुलाओ कब आना है मैं जाऊंगा सेना टू क्विकली रैली बिहाइंड संजय राउत कोर्टाने दिलेल्या निर्णयावरती प्रतिक्रिया देण्याची मला वाटते मला गरज नाही कारण कोर्ट अतिशय सक्षम आहे या देशातील सुप्रीम कोर्ट अतिशय सक्षमपणे निर्णय घेते बट लीगली इट डजंट लुक गुड फॉर द बेलिजरंट सेना एमपी In April this year, ED attached his properties in the 1,034 crore land scam case. Sanjay Raut and wife Varsha Raut's Ali Bagh plot and a flat in Mumbai's Dadar were among the properties attached. The probe agency claims that Raut's wife Varsha, family members, and associates, in an arm of construction major HDIL, connived and sold state housing body plots 
and floor space to private developers. ED says the private developers illegally sold the flats to buyers and total proceeds of the crime amounts to nearly 1,034 crore. The Sena rebels and the BJP justified the penal action. उनके पास तो एक ही रास्ता है जब भी कुछ भी हो जाए तो उंगली या तो केंद्र सरकार की ओर करें या हमारी नेताओं की ओर करें तो ये बचपना छोड़ दें वे आत्मचिंतन करें और ये उनके दल का अपना निजी मामला है निजी मामले में वे अपने परिवार में उस मामले को निपटे हमारा उस मामले से कोई लेना देना नहीं है इट्स नॉट जस्ट संजय रौत फेसिंग ईडी हीट थ्री सीनियर अगाडी मिनिस्टर्स अनिल देशमुख नवाब मलिक एंड अनिल परब आर फेसिंग स्कैम हीट एंड फायर ओवर अंडरवर्ल्ड लिंक्स विद मुनीश पांडे ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टुडे Meanwhile the Uddhav Sena versus Shinde Sena war has spilled onto the streets of Maharashtra Shinde supporters burnt effigies of Sanjay Raut after the Rajya Sabha MP compared the rebels in Guwahati to dead bodies the Shinde Sena has been alleging that they've been threatened by Raut and by Sena members meanwhile Uddhav Thakre has stripped all rebel mantris of their portfolios Shinde Sena versus Uddhav Sena on the streets of Maharashtra. Street clashes. Effigy burning. Sloganeering and street marches. Supporters of Shinde and Uddhav came face to face in Maharashtra's Kolhapur. Unruly scenes were witnessed as both camps indulged in a brawl. Cops had to eventually intervene and detain the rival agitators. Shinde camp is in no mood to budge even on the streets. Sena's most vocal leader Sanjay Raut's effigy was burnt in rebel chief Eknath Shinde's stronghold Thane. Eknath Shinde's son, Shrikant Shinde, who led the protests, pledged an all-out fight to uphold Bala Sahib Thakre's legacy from Uddhav government in minority. Gawat ka ant kaha tak hoga? Akhir ye ladai jayegi kaha? Gawat nahi hai. Ye logo ko jo chahiye, wo Maharashtra ke je logo ko chahiye, janta ko chahiye. Wo jo hai, wo aaj Eknath Shinde sahab ke netrutwa mein jo hai, wo sabhi amda, sabhi MLA logo ne kiya. Chief Minister Uddhav Thakre. who is bleeding MLAs by the hour ordered a crackdown on the rebels stripping the rebel ministers of their portfolios reallocating their posts among the remaining loyalists Eknath Shinde's urban development ministry has been handed over to Subhash Desai Gulab Rao Patel's water supply and sanitation department has been given over to Anil Parab Uddhav Thakre's son Aditya was handed over three additional ministries. The two rival Sena factions engaged in a serious fight over Bala Sahib's legacy. Sanjay Raut targeted rebels and accused them of ditching the Sena and the Thakre family for their political gains. जो लोग 40-40 साल से पार्टी में रहते हैं, भाग जाते हैं, उनका जमीर मर गया, आत्मा मर गया है, तो क्या बचता है? जिंदा लाश Jindala, Jindala, Kaume. The fight for the Maha throne is far from over, with both the Sena camps not ready to budge. With Mosmi Singh in Mumbai, Bureau Report, India Today. We'll continue tracking all the latest from the Maharashtra political drama at 9pm. When I come back on the other side of a quick break, we'll look at uh, Yashwan Sinha's nomination after NDA's Draupadi Murmu. Today was opposition candidate Sinha's big day out. Detailed report coming up on the other side.
everyone's busy finding what's trending. You're busy finding out why. India Today for those who research before reacting. Download the India Today app now. India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening vendetta politics koi doot ke se dula hua nahi hai unmatched eye unmatched experience the world has changed my black hair has become gray as well and with unmatched passion for the story do not monopolize the conversation when it's 100% pure prime time it's news today with rajdeep sardesai monday to friday 9 pm only on india today tv Make your media plan smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. You You're on board the news track Khan banega Rashtrapati. India will get its new president by the 24th of July. Today the opposition's candidate Yashwant Sinha filed his nomination he was accompanied by congress mp rahul gandhi ncp chief sharad pawar and trs's kt ramara the race to raisina in top gear after nda presidential candidate draupadi murmu who filed her nomination flanked by prime minister modi and nda stalwarts Her opponent and choice of majority of opposition parties, veteran politician Rashwan Sinha, filed his papers. Just like NDA, it was a show of strength at Parliament House by opposition heavyweights. NCP Chief Sharad Pawar, Congress MP Rahul Gandhi, Samajwadi Party Chief Akhilesh Yadav, RLD Chief Jayant Chaudhary, Senior Congress Leader Malikarjun Kharge. TRS working president and minister KT Rama Rao flanked the former union minister as he filed the papers while the numbers favor NDA the UPA is confident the real fight is between two ideologies uh, one ideology of RSS uh, anger hatred <coughs> and the other uh, of compassion of all the opposition parties which are standing together राष्ट्रपति महामहिम हमारे देश के संविधान के संरक्षक हैं हमारे हिसाब से आज संविधान के ऊपर बहुत घोर हमला हो रहा है उसका संरक्षण करने के लिए कौन होगा और इसके लिए अपील है कि संविधान बचाना है तो अपने यशवंत जी को वोट डालिए कांग्रेस टीएमसी सीपीआई सीपीआईएम शिवसेना समाजवादी पार्टी डीएमके एनसीपी आरजेडी आरएलडी नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस पीडीपी AIUDF and AIMM a total of 14 parties are backing Sinha but Safran party is confident of the win as numbers are in their favor especially after backing from BJD and YSR CP result to ho gaya more than 80% vote milegi Draupadi Murmu madam ki kal bhuvaneshwar se mera sath video calling mein baat kiya Draupadi Murmu ji ne बहुत अच्छा वोट बंगाल से भी मिलेगी द्रौपदी मुर्मू हु मे बिकम द फर्स्ट ट्राइबल फेस टू बी प्रेसिडेंट इफ इलेक्टेड हैज डायल्ड ऑपोजिशन लीडर्स इंक्लूडिंग द झारखंड मुक्ति मोर्चा फॉर सपोर्ट द इलेक्शंस फॉर इंडिया स्टॉप जॉब आर गोइंग टू बी हेल्ड ऑन 18 जुलाई एंड द काउंटिंग विल बी हेल्ड थ्री डेज लेटर राष्ट्रपति भवन विल हैव अ न्यू ऑक्यूपेंट ऑन जुलाई 24 With Mosmi Singh Bureau Report India Today. 
This is where we wrap up the news track tonight. For your time and your trust, thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you 8 p.m. tomorrow evening. Rajdeep Sardesai comes up next with news today. Everyone's busy finding what's trending. You're busy finding out why. India Today for those who research before reacting. Download the India Today app now. Make your media plan smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. Amplify your brand with 100 million smart internet viewers. To advertise, mail us at sales at arjtag.com. Make your media plan smarter with India Today Live TV on your connected devices. You are watching India Today. You are watching. India today. At 9 p.m. on the news today with me, Rajdeep Sardesai. The Maharashtra political pot boiler is becoming a maha mess by the day. Will the Sena rebels now finally strike and call for a no confidence motion in the Uddhav Thakre government? Is it game set, almost match for the rebels, or could there be a twist in the tail? And while the Shiv Sena rebels are parked in a Gohati hotel, what's the situation on the ground in flood-hit Assam? 
And among my newsmakers tonight is the presidential contender of the opposition party's former finance minister, Yashwan Sinha. All that and much more on the news today. So sorry. Presented by Aditya Birla Group, Big in Your Life. Co-presented by Star Health Insurance, the health insurance specialist. Co-presented by JK Tire Ranger Series, Stay Wild at Heart. <laughs>